Cybers! We're back with another important artist. Yes, very, very important. He's an American artist and his name was Mark Rothko. See here? Mark Rothko. Now, Mark Rothko, he was born in Russia, okay, a long time ago. And he came here as a child and he got involved with a lot of art that was happening of the time of Jackson Pollock, okay? So Mark Rothko actually knew Jackson Pollock, okay? And he also knew a lot of people from that time. And he also knew another artist that we're going to study in our next class. His name is Arshidi Gork. You will hear more about it. Who was an Armenian artist, also became an American. So Rothko, although he was born in Russia, he was an American artist because he grew up in here. He came here as a child and he became very, very interested in color. Yes, he created those beautiful fields of color. He started like, you know, every painter doing everything that you do in the art school and all of that. But then he started to make just like big areas of color like this. Okay, he used to call them fields of color. So he would experiment with different colors. He thought that when you were looking at something like this, it would make you feel like you were in a beautiful sunset. Or if you're looking at something like this, it will bring you the feeling of at the skies, at the sea, and so he had a very strong connection with the colors and he wanted to pass that color to people. So he wanted people to come in front of his painting and experience a pure field of color. That's what he wanted. So he wanted people to go there and say, wow, what? That girl here looking at Rothko, you see? So think about that. When you're looking at Rothko painting, he was an abstract artist. Yes, he became an abstract artist because his paintings were abstract. And he made those gigantic color field paintings, which we're going to do some today. Okay, as a matter of fact, I even have a Rothko button today. All right. And so Mark Rothko is nowadays is considered one of the most important American artists because of so many colors that he was able to put it together and make those beautiful fields of color. It's a matter of fact, Mr. Rothko even made a chapel, yes, in Houston. If you ever go to Houston, Texas one day, go there and say, I'm going to go visit the Rothko Chapel, okay? So his chapel has those paintings that you see here, very dark and somber. So the goal of Mr. Rothko was to make people who visit the chapel think because the paintings are very kind of dark and make you think and make you kind of navigate it to it and say, wow, very serious here. And it's a very serious mood. So that's what Mr. Rothko wants to do with the colors, okay? He wanted to make you look at the color and he didn't want it to explain to you what it is. He wanted you to experience the color and let what the color fields will bring it to you, okay? So, like, you know, sometimes people look at yellow and red and they think about pizza, which is okay. Why not think about pizza when you look at yellow and red, okay? So that was the goal of Mr. Rocco. So, you know what? Why don't we go to the table and let's make some fields of color. Yes, like Mr. Rocco did. Let's go.
like my blue feud on Mr. Watt, huh? Isn't that pretty cool? So I'm gonna call this uh, Mr. Souza in the Skies Ugly. Well, yeah, maybe, yeah? Yeah, you like it? No? Okay, so then I'm gonna have to put another title, right? Okay. So let me call it then uh, The Hillside Blue Singers. Ha! I like that. Okay, Hillside Blue Singers, here we go. Okay? Now, what about my purple yellow field, huh? That's beautiful. Now, you see, one thing you have to be careful when you're doing your color field. See, I hit a little bit of wet paint from the other side. So it's good if you do one color, let it dry, do another color, let it dry, okay? So you don't have that accident like Mr. Sully did. But okay, you know, if you look at it from far away, right? Now, this one, the title of this one is going to be Purple, yellow, and orange. Hmm? Yeah, by Mr. Souls. Okay, and then I also have this one here, which is my beautiful salmon with orange. Oh, salmon with orange, Mr. Souls. That's pretty good. Ha <laughs> ha! You see? So I want to see your color field. Okay, I wanted to see what Rothko will make you think and what colors you're gonna come up with, okay? All right, so couple of tips. When you're mixing the colors, work one color first, put it on a paper, see how it goes, okay? Try to work with squares or rectangular fields like Mr. Rothko did because that way you can see the color field better. Another tip, white will change the color a lot. So I like to start with darker colors and then add a little bit of white, okay? So that's one way to do it, okay? Now, pay attention to the colors you wanted, okay? Because it's really, you are the artist, so you're gonna have to come up with your own color fields, okay? All right, so the colors I mix, they're good ideas, I like you, so you can try, okay? You can try how to make a salmon color, you can try how to make purples and then white it out, okay? If you have a darker blue and you want a lighter blue, remember, just add white, okay? So mix a little bit, but remember, don't mix everything because if you mix all the colors, then you end up with a dark color that it will not look very well, okay? Got it? All right, so this is my, I love my Rothko. Hey, what is this? Oh, man! I had a little paint and I just made a stain on my Rothko, okay? So while you're working on your Rothko, I'm gonna fix mine, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.